Good morning. My name is Crystal Travis and this is my presentation on the effects of animal hoarding. Animal hoarding is a compulsive behavior in which an individual collects and keeps several animals for which they cannot properly provide for. Between 2 to 5 percent of the American population is affected by this disorder. If any individual has more than they can properly care for, this is too many. There are an estimated 200,000 cases of animal hoarding each year. According to Randy Frost, in 2011, Comparison of Object and Animal Hoarding. These animals are kept in horrible living conditions. It is often true that they are not receiving enough food, the proper shelter, or vet care. This causes the animals to starve, die, or at high risk for disease and infections. By having too many animals, it is impossible that they get enough nutrition that they need. And no vet care means overbreeding. Having an unsanitary living condition is a health risk to both humans and animals. Some believe, quote, some believe that mental health issues are a cause of animal hoarding, end quote. According to Randall Lockwood from 2021, Challenges of Mental Health, depression, anxiety, or a history of trauma could be their reason for animal hoarding. Loneliness, quote, loneliness, especially in the elderly, cause animal hoarding, end quote. Danella D'Angelo, Human Animal Relationships, 2020. Providing more mental health treatment for the animal hoarders needs to be available as a solution to help this situation. To offer more mental health help for animal hoarding, the community could offer free support groups. A proposal would be that the community, local churches could offer their buildings for use without cost. Local health departments could offer mental health help and help with their home sanitation. If communities on a budget do not have funds, I propose that the donations be taken locally and even online. In past situations, law enforcement, humane societies, and health departments have been great with rescuing animals from bad living conditions. But however, this has not helped with providing the animal hoarder themselves with any type of mental health help or any help that they need. Animals suffer because people suffer. Here's a picture of some animal hoarding conditions. Um, this picture is from PetRescue.com from San Diego, California. This, in this situation, 170 dogs were rescued from the home. And in this photo, also from PetRescue.com, there were 70 cats rescued from this hoarding situation. And 200,000 pets are rescued every year from animal hoarders. I would propose that the communities get involved, get with the local health departments, 
and your law enforcement, adopt a pet, donate to your local shelters and humane societies, And that is my presentation on animal hoarding for English 102. Thank you.